it's your girl, a girl connect, coming at you with a video today that is kind of a mishmash of things, talking about some of my adventures today and gonna bring in some hair stuff, some hair related topic, topics, whatever. So today, um, I basically, like when the summer came or right before the summer came, I created this list that I call my Summer of 2010 Adventures list. And it's just a list of different things I wanted to do here in New York um, in the summer while it was still warm out because some things are seasonal, they're not open during other times of the year. So on my list was the Brooklyn Flea Market. And I once I got there, I'm so mad at myself that this is the first time that I have been to the Brooklyn Flea Market since I've lived here. I'm kind of like, shame on me because it was really really dope there was tons of great finds there um from all different price ranges i mean they had really cheap stuff for like a dollar up to you know hundreds of dollars so there's definitely something for everybody tons of um handcrafted designs handcrafted furniture um clothes shoes jewelry any anything that you could think of um bikes there was lots of food vendors there. It was just a really, really cool experience, and I am glad that I finally got there. So I'm going to share with you my mini haul, and it's very mini because I only got two things, and that was good because, yeah, if I had more cash on me, it would have been a problem, even though a lot of them did take um, credit cards. Yeah, it was just a good thing I, I didn't have a lot of cash on me. So my first find that I got was this beautiful vintage clutch. And this is from the 1930s, the seller told me, and it cost me all of $5. So excited, OMG. So how it opens is, you pull this little thing here, and you open it up. So this is what it, ah, uh oh, can't be breaking it. This is what it looks like inside. And it comes with a cute little little change purse attached so I was really 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 excited because I thought it was gonna be more it was only five dollars now it does have some little some little defects but I don't care I'll just turn it the other way but yeah so it's so cute and I could tell it, it will look cute with like a lot of different outfits like you could dress this up but you could definitely make this casual like I could wear this with a casual chic outfit the next time I go back to the Brooklyn Flea Market, which might be in a couple weeks. So, yeah, $5, guys, and it's from the 1930s. And I was really excited about that because I love, love, love the classic eras between, like, you know, the 30s to the 50s. You know, I love, like, Dorothy Dandridge and Lena Horne and all of them. So, I was excited about that find. The next find is actually on my head. And it's a, it's a hair scarf by a brand called Mercado. So they had, they had a booth there. And um, if you don't live in New York or in the Brooklyn area, you, you can find them there on Etsy. So you can get their stuff on Etsy at Mercado.Etsy.com. But I'm going to turn on so you can see the pattern because it's so cute. When I saw it, I was like, yep, I want it. I want it. So it looks like this. You could just see I tied it into a little bow in the back. So this cost me $16, and it's handcrafted. So it's, um, you know, the owner, it's a lady. I did not get her name, and I, I got her card, but I can't find it. Is um Everything is 100% handcrafted. So these are really cool. She had a lot of different pretty patterns and designs, and she also had tote bags she had tees and um she had regular like headbands too and i think they were a little bit cheaper so definitely check out her etsy shop or if you're in the new york area come to the the flea market and, and ask about her see her so yeah that was my little haul and on to hair related things i am trying a new product and so far i'm liking it it's the be mine luscious balanced balanced cream moisturizer and I'm not sure if you can see that because the glare on this camera is weird. But anyways, it is a cream moisturizer and I'm liking it so far. It's working for me. There's hair in here so I don't want to show you but it's like a light yellow color. And it's like a light kind of whipped cream. So it works really good for my hair so far. 
and it smells lemony. I love the way it smells. So, and it kind of lingers in your hair. So you walk by somebody and they're like, ooh, ooh, what's going on with that? I mean, a good what's going on with that, you know what I'm saying? So it really helped me out this week because last week I did a henna gloss. And guys, I don't know what I did wrong, but something was off with that mix. Something was off. And it had my hair just feeling weird, like weird. And henna never makes my hair feel weird. It never makes my hair feel dry. It never makes my hair feel hard. But it felt like all of those things, and I just couldn't figure out why. Anyways, I got this product in the mail a couple days ago and started using it, and it has actually helped. It has helped a lot, like, to kind of soften my hair and help it retain some of the moisture. So, I don't know what I did wrong with that gloss, guys, but something was off. Because my hair, I'm like, my hair is bugging. What is going on? So, yeah. So, I'm glad for that. But I'm going to keep testing it. I don't want to give, like, an official, official review yet because I'm not. It could be just, you know, new product, work, magic, whatever. So that I believe is it guys. I am actually going to go wash my hair now. I'm going to condition really good and use some oils and stuff and hopefully you know get my hair back on track. I know I ran out of apple cider vinegar for my apple cider vinegar rinses. So I don't know if that played a part in it too because I didn't do an ACV rinse and I usually do those religiously. Um, so that could be a part of it too. So I'm hoping you know I re-upped on that that I get my hair back on track because the way it's feeling is weird. I don't, I don't like it. But the the moisturizing cream helped out a lot, and um, wearing scarves like this worked too. So, talk to you guys later. Bye bye.